Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel, welcome back uh, to my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general love reading for uh, July. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking of being and regarding yourself, and of course, vibes of that. So. Guys, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is timestamp. Okay, if you click in the description bar below, you see where it says start reading, click on that, and that will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. This section is really for those that uh, just kind of prefer to see me shuffle up on camera. As I always say, please, these are new cards. What take, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Uh, but of course, if this isn't your story, if I didn't pick up in your story, you can always stick around. As sometimes, sometimes there could be just you know messages throughout this that uh, jump out and speak to you. And of course, always use this as a guide to uh, support you and move you in the direction of just where you're wanting to go because ultimately we we create our own reality so give me a moment to just uh finish shuffling he's got um yes. and i'll do the rest on camera um uh when i get back if i need to so i'm just gonna take these in and i'll be back So Aquarius, let's start your reading <laughs> and take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but I'm going to, but you can switch, flip whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right. Okay. All right. So, all right. So just touching on where you guys are coming from. This is someone you, you definitely are drawn towards with page of, um, wands there very much someone that you're highly attracted to there's a pull that you do have towards them i feel like a lot of you already recognize that um but, you know there's a lot of passion a lot of desire that you do have for this person this could be someone that has come back around again or just someone that's really new someone that you just met with the karma card this is someone about that you know, talks about karma so something coming back around again or someone that is very new but a lot of passion, a lot of desire, highly attracted towards this person. But also there is this acknowledgement of this being something that is kind of taking you away from something that maybe was left undone or left unsaid with, regarding someone else. And that could just be emotionally. So someone that maybe an ex or something that you still kind of maybe held on to, to some extent, energetically or emotionally. Um, or even just the idea of not having had closure. Um, so you was kind of still in a certain space with them. But this person that's shown up here, it's like they've taken your focus and you're more willing to kind of just move towards them. And um, so it's kind of helping you come out of something, which is always a good thing. I feel like you're acknowledging how much passion and desire you have for them because we do have that page. We've got the page of swords there, which talks about epiphany, realization. Um, but you're keeping it to yourself. I don't think you're expressing it to this person. I don't think you're letting them know. I don't think maybe for some of you, you might not be letting anyone know. Um, or, and, or this could also represent you keeping certain things to yourself um, when it comes to just parts of you sharing parts of you with this person parts of your life even even though you do have this awareness that there is this opportunity for you to start something new for you to have something new yeah your person your person is seeing you as the queen of wands so this talks about um you know someone who's very highly attractive driven you know uh admired by a, a lot of people and there is this element of, you know, happiness. We've got the nine of uh, cups, which talks about like, emotional happiness. There, There is this recognition, like I said, for some of you, this is something that's come back around again. Uh, does it have to be? But there's also this recognition of a foundation having already been laid and they're wanting to kind of give to this. They're wanting to give to this. 
I feel like with the temperance card there, there's an element of them feeling like there's there's peace there. It's like this person kind of, how do I explain that? Okay, so if this is someone who has come back around again, you give them this feeling of home. It's like they also feel at peace now, where before there was maybe highly emotional about maybe the break uh, the breakup or the separation, but um, they kind of feel that peace. So there's this level of peace there. If this is someone new, there is still this level of peace there. Uh, this feeling of uh, alignment, alignment, alignment. Thinking about long term with the six there, wanting to take a risk. Yeah, wanting to take a risk. Again, if this is something that's come back around again, acknowledging that, you know, things are being fixed or things are starting to work out between the both of you or actually put in work. You bring it, which brings us to where we are now. You kind of, while they're basking in what's going on, this could also represent just the work. Uh, their career, maybe work, business, whatever the case may be. But there's something that they kind of bask in. And I feel like it's mainly this. Um, yes, there's thoughts of this having ended, but we'll get to that in a minute. I want to focus on you, though, Aquarius, with that devil card. There's something that you're engaging in. Now, that could be anything. That could be anything that's not beneficial to this relationship and you're aware of it. This is something you're aware of. And that could be anything. It could be maybe, you know, gambling too much. Maybe you're seeing other, you, you know, dating multiple, multiple, if I can speak, I said maybe you're dating multiple people and maybe you're drinking too much. What It could be anything, literally. Take it where it applies, guys. But you're aware of it. You're aware of it. And you're also aware, Aquarius, that something needs to change. There needs to be a transformation around that. There needs to be an end in the death of that in order for something to be, um, for there to be a rebirth. The death talks about, yes, something coming to an end, but what happens when something comes to an end is also a rebirth of something. So this talks about transformation, change, big change. So they're wanting transformation around, you're wanting trans transformation around that. You're acknowledging that there needs to be transformation around that actually. And that there's going to be a need to take a, a, you know, have a lot of strength to be able to do that. And that might be uncomfortable for you. Yeah, that might be uncomfortable for you for, for a bit. But there's something that, you know, you're going to want to get over, move through, come out on top with, with a five there. Because ultimately, you, yeah, there's acknowledgement that this person and fills you emotionally. There's fulfillment there, emotional fulfillment you wanted to take a risk on. Like I said, your person is bark skin in, you know, just what's going on in the moment between you both. You know, whether you're dating, you're seeing each other more and you're spending time together, just, you know, having met you, all, all of that good stuff. You know, I feel like things are kind of coming in for them. Um, like I said, if this is something, and I feel like for the majority of you, it is something that's come back around again. There is this acknowledgement of something having ended. And it's still kind of thinking about that ending. Just, you know, things around that. What happened, why it happened. Um, that it happened. That it happened with the tower. Maybe for, for a lot of you, this was also a shock to them. Maybe how it happened as well. Which kind of gives them a bit, there's a bit of confusion there. It's like, can I have the Empress? The Empress talks about, rebirth or the birthing of something so creating something um the creation of something you know sometimes that's family kids whatever the case may be there's confusion around whether they can have that or should is that something that can be had considering it had ended before if this is someone new they're thinking about their past relationship around an ending I feel like maybe for some of you this person if they've mentioned that this, and this is only if it, if it, it only applies if they've mentioned it to you, um, around them wanting kids or something like that, something family. The good, the good thing about this is that they do have that justice card. Like I said, it ties back to this star. Like things are going well for them. Things are they seek they're getting justice ultimately. So there is this choice that they need they need to make. We're going back to this 
thing here because you know if they're still thinking about the ending of something or the ending of this relationship that once was that's now come back around if this is someone new then of course the ex or the past person they're still kind of in thoughts about that then it kind of causes them to be slightly hesitant they're not giving their all they're not moving forward fully so yes although it gives them this feeling of okay things are working out things are happening for me I, I still need to I need to make a choice you know I need to make a choice about just kind of moving forward with this with this fully with with the lack of these types of thoughts you know, the intuition is telling them that this is a positive thing. So they're feeling like this is a positive thing to move, you know, move ahead. Or that this is a positive thing. You know, in part two of the reading, which I will be implementing next week, guys, so just look out for that. That will, you know, that I would expand on this this uh, reading and then we'll kind of look at, at that. But as it stands, as it stands, the most important thing here, though, in this spread because we know this person is on board ultimately is this transformation around this thing that you're engaging in that's not beneficial to you or not beneficial to the relationship that's that's the focus of, on this relation on this on this uh, spread and this reading um because the the good thing is is that you're aware of what needs to be done in order for that change to happen in order for that transformation to happen you're aware that it's going to be uncomfortable, you know, it's going to be uncomfortable for a bit, but there is this determination to come out on top when it comes to that. Love it. Love it, Aquarius. So hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. That's something that interests you as they say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week.